All right, guys, today I want to talk about a leak I've been having on the boat since I bought it since new. Is a leak through the uh, through hole of the uh, raw water intake. And it's been going on since I purchased the boat. The first time I took it to the Bahamas, I noticed there the bilge was taking out water. Every hour, there was a little bit of water coming out. So I got worried right away. So the first thing I did, I went here inside that lid where the hose go. It looks like there's a leak there. So since I keep the uh, valve shut all the time, only when I use it, then I shut it off right away because it's leaking. I've been putting out this project for two years. I have not fixed it, but it is time now to get it fixed. And sadly, it came like that from factory from day one. Um, very disappointed because that's a leak on a brand new boat. Let me show you. Let's start investigating here. And first thing, I want to take this off here. Now I have a lot more room here to work with. Usually I keep this here because if I ever fall back into the boat, I got something to lean on. That's why I keep that backrest there. I'm gonna steer the motor to the other side so I have more room. At first I thought that was the, that connector there, the problem, but it looks like it wasn't the connector. When I remove the pump here, Look at this. You see that piece of rubber right here? When they installed this at the factory, this piece of rubber is too forward, this piece. So it's not letting that seal there seal pretty good. So there's water coming out of the pump on top of the housing. It's not that valve down there that did that good, but this right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it. So that way there's room. So that was what the problem was. That little piece of rubbering, and when they did this in the factory, they did not notice it. So see, this piece of rubber here, this is the problem. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. All right, this little piece right here, this should do it. And if you look at this right here, these connections are not weather sealed at all. Look at it. So water is getting right through here and affecting these cables. Put a little bit of grease around this gasket here. Okay. Let's screw it back on. All right, that's done. So now, when I open this level here, no water should come out of the pump. So that's gonna be perfect. So now this connection here is shrink wrapped before it wasn't and water was getting inside here so that is a problem we definitely do not want water to come in contact with this copper wire especially salt water that falls right through this lid falls right here all the time so definitely this was not a good connection but now it's perfect All right, so that was an easy fix. It's an easy mistake by the factory, putting the hose all the way in, not letting the seal of the uh, pump touch in contact with the casing. It's an easy mistake, um, but it's a mistake that it could have sink a boat. So very important that I get this done now, even though I always have the valve closed. Um, like I said, when I was in the Bahamas, I freaked me out a little bit, and there was water coming inside the bilge, and the shrink wrapped on those connections were not heated. Uh, to make a complete seal. So I was very disappointed that they didn't heat those shrink wraps and made a complete sealed. So that could have created a problem for me in the future with no uh, contact on those leads there. But now it's working perfect. So even if you purchase a brand new boat, you're gonna have problems like this. Manufacturers are working fast and they're connecting hoses 
and sometimes they don't notice and they leave a little piece of rubber like they did in this case and you have a leak on your bilge very unfortunate uh, thing to have on a brand new boat and it's been two years uh, with this leak but finally I got onto it people told me go to the dealer and have them take care of it but you know what that causes two days one day to take the boat leave it there maybe they'll fix it in a couple of days then going again picking up the boat it's such a hassle to go to the dealer that which is almost two hours away that doing it myself here it only took me less than 30 minutes to get this done and get it done properly which is important all right so if you ever have a leak on your bilge check all the hoses especially when you're in the water that's how you're going to know um, don't mess with the hoses on the water because you can sink your boat if you don't have a shot off right away so the best thing to do is look where the leak is coming go to dry land and fix it on dry land now when i get back on the water i'll make sure that everything is working properly which is almost 99 percent that everything is going to be working properly there's not going to be no leaks all right if you found this video helpful how to resolve a small leak on your bilge that could sink your boat uh, please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and always navigate safe